welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a java project which is entitled as online parking booking system or online parking system so we have developed this project using java and the ID used is NetBeans 8.2 and for the database we have used MySQL so let us see the execution of the project now and this is the home screen of the project online parking booking system so here we have two entities user and the admin so first I'll go to the admin part So enter the admin credentials and once the login is successful you can see the home welcome screen of the admin page here you can see the parking cost user details view bookings and logout so here the admin can able to enter the parking cost details so if you wanted to update it you can change it right now the parking cost is uh, uh, per hour is 20 rupees if you wanted to change the cost you can change it by clicking update so here now you can see the parking cost per hour is 10 rupees so if you wanted to update it you can click update and uh, click you you can make the modification of the parking charges per for per hour and in the user details you can see who are all the users available currently there are there is only one user let me show by registering a new user and update here and view bookings here you can see who are all the persons who are booked and what is the cost their details and everything so let me go to the user part right now so in the user part as i am a new user i'm clicking the register page and i'm entering the details of it and after you enter the user details of name date of birth email id gender phone number address and password and click sign up and you can see the details that registration is success so once the registration is success you can enter with the registered details as i have entered this email id i am entering with those details and after entering the email id and the password click login and here you can see the login is successful and click ok so this is the welcome screen of the user page here you can see the parking cost book parking and your bookings and logout so in parking cost you can see what is the cost that currently they have been charging so as it is 20 rupees i have updated here you can see that has been showing here and book parking so here you can book the parking so you can select the date for example i'm going to select today's 24 so let me select 25 3 2021 and you cannot select the past previous dates you, here you can see the previous dates has been disabled so today day is, date is 24 3 and only you can select the previous date so sorry the the following dates only the previous dates will be disabled okay so you cannot able to select the previous dates and here you can see the parking time so which time you needed you can select so let me select 10 and enter the parking hours or how many hours you wanted so let me select two hours so you can see 25 3 2021 the parking time is 10 and parking hours is 2 and, and i am selecting the slot so select slot so here you can see so here you can see the details so total is two hours so the cost is 40 rupees it is automatically updated here so according to the cost that we have provided in the duration it will be the car the charges will be showing here in the parking cost in rupees and here you can see the cash methodology only there is no upa or card payment so you the default mode is cash is selected and here you can select the slot for example i have selected slot 2 okay and click book so here you can see the slot is booked and click ok so now you can go to your bookings and here you can see 
the detail that we have booked currently so here you can see the date the start time the end time the slot and the booking time so now let me check with the same time the same slot can be booked or not so let me go to the book parking okay let me show you that option so here i am selecting 10 and 2 hours and select slot here i am selecting so you can see now a2 is unable to select so slot 2 cannot be selected so here you can see the disable button so other buttons you can able to select okay here you can see so see when i bring the cursor to the place it has been disabled so here you can see the once if the user is selected the slot and the same slot cannot be booked till the slot is completed okay so even if i change the time for example if i am changing the time to 11 okay and one hour so still the com the time is not completed because the time is in the end time is 12 so here you can see it is not being selected so it cannot be selected so only this the time after the time it can be selected. for example if i am selecting one one o'clock and selecting the slot now you can see it is being selected so in this way the project is being designed such that once the slot is being selected again it is not able to selected by the any other person so let me log out and get back to the admin page again to you to show you the details and in the admin page you can see the user details so currently you can see the user id 2 this is the detail that i have registered currently and view bookings you can see this booking has been updated now okay and this is all about the project online parking booking system using java and thank you for watching